think Brown is a leader. And I think I'm going to see his name at some point in the MVP talk. What did the Porzingis move do for the Celtics? I think it makes them the title favorites. Mm. That's how I feel about it. Who has a uh, high character. Uh, plays with a great mindset and of being a tough defender. And we look at Tate, I mean, he's 25 years old. He's 25 years old, and I believe he's been to the conference finals four times. For years, the Boston Celtics have looked like the next dynasty in the NBA. They've been knocking at the door of an NBA title for several seasons. And this year looks like it could finally be the one. But what makes 2024 so different for the Celtics? Well, let's take a look at the reasons why the Boston Celtics will win the 2024 NBA championship. The first reason for this being the year for the Celtics is pretty simple. They have been the best team in the league by far. With plenty of championship contending teams struggling, no one has been winning games as well as the Celtics. Currently sat top of the Eastern Conference, the Celtics claimed the one seed before most other teams had even claimed a playoff spot. They have seven more wins at the time of writing than any other team in the league. Home court advantage will be a massive help for the Celtics, and you can't deny that they have been the best team in the league this year. So why wouldn't they be favorites for a title? When you look into the details of this regular season, it looks very good for Boston heading into the playoffs. It's not just that the Celtics are beating the trash teams, they have an incredibly impressive record against some of the teams they're likely to face in the playoffs. This season, Boston has a winning record against the two-seeded Milwaukee Bucks, the three-seeded Cleveland Cavaliers, and the always dangerous Joel Embiid-led Sixers. They are unbeaten against playoff teams like the New York Knicks, New Orleans Pelicans, and the Miami Heat. They already have an impressive record against every team that the Celtics could face in the East on their way to the finals. So Boston already knows how to beat those teams coming out of the East. The Golden State Warriors revolutionized basketball with their three-point barrage. It led to a massive amount of success for the Warriors, and Boston are following a similar path. The Celtics are by far the best three-point shooting team in the league. They hit around 17 three-pointers per game, two more than the teams in second. Despite throwing up a huge number of threes, the OKC Thunder are the only team who hit them at a more efficient rate. This advantage can help the Celtics take the game away from anyone they could face in the playoffs. The Celtics have been the second best offensive team in the league this season, and they're going to be pretty much impossible to stop once it gets to the playoffs. If the Celtics do end up winning the title, then a big part of it will be the play of Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. Pretty much every championship winning team in league history has at least two superstars, which is exactly what the Celtics have on their roster. Tatum has continued as the team's top scorer, while also leading the Celtics in rebounds. Jalen Brown is having another strong scoring season, averaging 23 points per game. These two together average around 50 points per game and have been able to get through most of the season relatively healthy. Thanks to the talent that Boston has, they have smartly managed the minutes of their two superstars. While both are still pretty young in terms of NBA experience, this year seems like the perfect time for both to take a step forward and perform in the clutch. One of the things that will massively help Tatum and Brown is that both have not only playoff experience, but NBA Finals experience. The pairing lit up the Eastern Conference on the way to the 2022 NBA Finals, but they were outmatched and outclassed by the Golden State Warriors, along with Steph Curry. This year is different because the Celtics have a more experienced core, while their two superstars have playoff experience. Expect Tatum in particular to step up when games are close in May and June. By far the biggest move of the Celtics offseason was trading away former Defensive Player of the Year Marcus Smart. Former Knicks first-round pick Kristaps Porzingis was the player that Boston got in the package back, and he has fit into this Celtics starting lineup perfectly. There were doubts that Kristaps would be able to perform in more of a backup role, having struggled so much when paired with Luka Doncic in Dallas. But this has been a career year for Kristaps, and the move for him looks like a brilliant move by Brad Stevens now. While injuries have limited him to the least number of games of any Celtic starter, Kristaps is still averaging over 20 points per game, while also putting up close to two blocks per game. He is shooting over 51% from the floor, with an impressive 36.4% from the three-point line. He has also been a massive help on defense, currently having the best defensive rating of any of the Celtic starters. He's going to be crucial in the playoffs, as the Celtics will need Kristaps to guard the opponent's best big. But so far, he has looked up to the task and could be a valuable contributor in this title run. 
One of the things that makes the Celtics so scary is that their scoring can come from a lot of different sources outside of their big three. Derek White, Drew Holiday, and Sam Hauser are all hitting two threes per game while all still shooting above 40% from the three-point line. The stats show that this is a historically good Celtics team who had the fourth best scoring differential in NBA history. They can hit shots from all over the court, and it doesn't matter if you can slow down Tatum and Brown. There will be games in the playoffs where one or both of those guys are not firing, yet the Celtics have the scorers on the floor and off the bench who can score over anyone. In a season where superstars like Joel Embiid, Trey Young, and Bradley Beal have had to miss significant time with injury, the Celtics have stayed relatively healthy. Kristaps Porzingis is the only starter set to play less than 60 games this season, and he's still going to get pretty close to that number. Jalen Brown has dealt with some minor injuries towards the back end of the year, but the Celtics have been very healthy for most of the season. They will also be able to head into the playoffs well-rested. Having secured the top spot in the East with weeks to spare, Boston can afford to rest their superstars without giving up home advantage. Balancing rest and readiness is not always easy to do, but deciding how many games their stars will play towards the back end of the year is a good problem to have for the Celtics. While much of the acclaim about this Celtics team is around their lethal offense, Boston has been very impressive on defense this year. They currently have the third best rated defense in the league, behind only the Orlando Magic and Minnesota Timberwolves. Boston might not produce many steals, but they are second in blocks, despite having one of the smaller lineups in the league. While they don't have any outstanding individual rebounders, Boston still ranks first for defensive rebounds and does not give up a large amount of offensive rebounds. What makes this defense elite is that the Celtics are incredibly agile and cover the floor smartly. They can stop you on defense just as well as they can score on you on offense. It means it is hard to pick any holes in this Celtics team. The Celtics seem on a collision course to meet the Denver Nuggets in the NBA Finals. This would actually be a better matchup than you think. No one on the Celtics roster might be on the level that Nikola Jokic is on, but the Celtics have a much better team. They have multiple guys who can shut down Jamal Murray, as well as a plethora of shooters who can do damage against the Nuggets' shaky perimeter defense. It took a terrible shooting night for Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown for Denver to scrape past Boston in January. Over a seven-game series, the Celtics are the better team out of the two. It is hard to see any other team matching up well against Boston, so they have got to be the clear favorites for the title in 2024. Do you think the Boston Celtics are winning at all this year? Put your thoughts in the comments down below. While you're down there, hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.